morning, I'm Hazel Jarvis. So today I thought we'd do an urban scene, but I thought, well, why not? Why not just try and please everybody? So this can be a portrait of a small building, this can be a landscape, or this can even be an urban scene, I suppose. So we are going to paint a picture of the boathouse on the Harlem Mere in Central Park. I always like to start these videos with a rough study and a colour plan. So you could paint just the boathouse or you could put it in its setting too. So you have your preliminary little drawing. And as always, I'm going to start with my yellow 43, my sort of cad yellow, because it's a nice bright yellow. And it gives us this lovely fall foliage. And we'll put just a little bit of that same yellow in for reflection in the water. For the roof, we'll use a lovely soft grey, which is lavender mixed with burnt sienna. I mix up my bright yellow with some yellow ochre, 44, and some dull green, 54, and I'm just going to put in some darker foliage. So we are going to work from the back of the painting to the foreground. And we want our little boathouse to really pop. And again, we can put some of this darker colour in as reflection in the water. While the trees are drying, we're going to paint in over here and we're going to paint in the brickwork. So that's our Burnt Sienna 44, 46. And I'm just going to extend my stonework over here to... Again, we want to make sure that each part is dry before we paint the part that's next to it. So I'm going to go in here and paint the red. I use a fine brush and I cut the red with a tiny bit of burnt sienna, just so it's not too, too bright. And I'm using my red 42, which is basically a Windsor or a cadmium red with a little bit of burnt sienna. And there are a couple more touches of red here and there. There's some red up here. Some red over here. And a touch of red over here. So we'll just put in the windows up here in the tower while everything else dries. I'm going to mix up a pale minty green like so which is my mint green 50, my sort of mossy green 54, and a tiny touch of white. I test it out on my scrap paper. And now we're going to paint in this pale green area. Now, if, like me, you realised you've painted over an area uh, with your brick that should be green, you should be able to just paint over it with this slightly opaque green and all should be well. A little bit of my 58, my darker green, and I'm going to paint the window in the tower. 
So I add a little bit of extra green, my 58, and I'm going to paint this interior space a slightly darker green. Now, if you want it to look nice and fresh, you can leave and leave a little bit of white space. Go one more shade darker with our green by mixing in some in We're window. going to paint in the beams and some of the decorative detail with this darker green and a nice sharp brush. Don't worry if you don't get all the details correct. What matters more is just the feel of this. I'm just improvising because my red is a little too low. It's going to look like this. We'll add a few more details and we'll add some of the trellis work. I want to push the brick portion of the structure up in front, so I'm going to put in the sides now in grey. And here I'll go back and put in some more yellow foliage, I think. And there is sort of an open area here with beams. Mix up an off-white black for this round window. And again, just to keep things nice and fresh, I like to leave a tiny bit of white space showing. So I'm not painting out to the very edge. So here's the round window, and here is looking into the interior of the boathouse. So I fill in the yellow over here. I just put some more reflection in the water. It was a beautiful, beautiful day when I was in Central Park last week, so I'm going to make this water a nice blue. And finally, I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow in on the roof. I might put in just a tiny bit more brown into the foliage, just a little bit here and there. So I hope that this will help you when you're doing your mini house portraits, your mini urban scenes, and I hope you'll have fun. And I can't wait to see what you do.